Libra, hi. <laughs> I'm eating nuts, sorry. Libra. <laughs> Libra, hi, welcome to your read for the second week of January. We're going to be looking at your tarot this week. Mm. I took a break between uh, Virgo's read and your read, okay? I'm eating some peanuts, some trail mix. Uh, Libra, what's going on? Why do I feel so happy? Is love in the air for you during the Venus? Re Did your ex-boyfriend come back during the Venus retrograde? What's going on here? All right. Well, let's see, Libra. Um, by the way, Libra, if you'd like a personal read, feel free to email me. My email's in the description. Um, I provide transformational astrology, so you... Send me your birth time, your birth place, your birth date. I punch it in in my software and we video chat for an hour. We talk about the planets, what they're doing. And it's not like the website where you click on a planet and tells you a little bit about the planet, a little bit about yourself and what house it's in. I look at what the planet's looking at, what it wants, the work you're missing out on, um, what the planet might be forcing you to do and why you might feel like you're going crazy when you're actually not crazy. And uh, we transform that so that the weather is a little bit lighter for you, you know? And then the second option I have is we do the birth chart with the current astrology above your head as we video chat with the tarot. And that gives you very precise, accurate picture of what's going on with you all right so let's start your read libra and i don't know why i feel so good doing your lead. it's probably because i was eating trail mix and drinking soda here on the side <laughs> okay libra let, we're done messing around let's do your cards ten of wands you drop something you're feeling good because you drop something that's what it is hmm Challenges, do some work here. What's the work you got to do this week? Uh, King of Wands is why you're here. Oh, you yeah, hear about you drop something. I think as quick as you drop something, something picked right up here. Or it could just be you stepping into that kingly, you know, if you're feminine, divine feminine, uh, that queenly energy. Three of Wands here in the past. You were already trying to get out of something here. Let's be honest, let's call a duck a duck with this three of wands. Uh, whatever you were dropping here in the past, you already like considered dropping that. This is a very sassy read. This is going to be my favorite read of the week. It's going to be the sassy Libra read. Uh, your strength is page of wands upside down. Y you like, uh, you know, pages are very reliable. I don't care what any other tarot card reader tells you. Pages are very reliable. Yes, they are. And they're not afraid to do the work because they eventually have to become, what, the knight. They have to do the work for the king. So they are very reliable and they have to suit up the knight before they go off into battle or whatever, right? But upside down, it was unreliable. You were the unreliable one here. Why were you unreliable here, though? I don't think it was for a bad reason. I think, I feel like when I'm seeing all these wands here... <laughs> As you were spicy and somebody here wasn't matching your energy here, <laughs> Libra. And the Knight of Pentacles upside down. Definitely not moving forward with anything here in love this week, which is actually a good thing. Um, this is one of the lighter reads I've done this week. And I've already, you know, because I pick up, I seriously pick up on the energies when I'm doing these cards for the YouTube. Now, when I first started, it was so difficult. It's not like doing a personal client face to face which that was my bread and butter. I was doing face-to-face -face clients and it was always 100% accurate, almost 100% of the time, okay? And that's pretty bold of me to say 100%, but I guarantee you it's 100% face-to-face. Now, the YouTube world is very difficult for me to be 100% when these are general, right? This isn't gonna resonate for everybody. But now that I've started on this YouTube journey and I see these things, I feel like the majority of the Libras here you're here looking good with this Queen of Cups and you're changing the game up when it comes to your love story and how I see this is Venus retrograded but you're doing the work here and that's what's challenging here, the work, the Eight of Coins. It's a really good vibe. 
Oh my god, you get the Queen of Cups and King of Cups upright. And I'm doing upside reversals this week because Aries screwed it up for the rest of the Zodiac crew. Uh, and so I'm doing a reverse reads for everybody. And usually they came out brutal. Like the Gemini and the Taurus, they came out really brutal. Because my intuition is already brutal enough. And here we have the King of Cups, Queen of Cups together. You're headed towards a soulmate. You're headed towards something that looks good. You're headed towards your Queen and King. You drop this. And you're headed, it's like, this read is like everything every zodiac sign wants to get every week. Whatever you dropped here, or, you know, if you were, like, thinking one way about a certain person, if you're in a relationship trying to heal something, you've dropped the idea of that healing, and you're, you're trying to, like, you know, pursue forward to something else, and not trying to pursue forward towards this. Let's see here. The devil upside down is in your hopes and fears. You're like the third sign that's pulled the devil upside down. And I'm just saying that this is Capricorn season. And uh, Venus is retrograded in the sign of Capricorn. So this is a good thing in the hopes and fears. Like I said, you're not trying to force a marriage. You're not trying to force no boyfriend, girlfriend stuff on no one this week. Very good. Ace of Cups. I said it. Look. Ace of Cups. There it is. You got something new. You got something new. We're done with this read. I don't even want to force anything else out of this lever. Like, we're going to leave the read right there for this week. It's not about forcing things. You already got that down. You don't need me to tell you. And um, whatever you dropped, I feel like you were just for doing that. Because you are loyal. But you're not loyal to things that show up kind of like iffy, spotty, or like, ah, uh, uh, no. Libra wants the Gucci bag. You guys want the... The perfume, you guys want to, <laughs> whatever this was, maybe wasn't giving you the things you, I don't know why I felt talking about, why am I talking about bags and like, uh, I don't know, or like, you know, maybe this person wasn't making time for you, especially if you're masculine and this person was making up excuses, not moving forward. Yeah, like I, I dropped that in a heartbeat. Just know, um, look, you got... And this week is difficult because we got the reversals, but you got something here that looks good. Look at these two. Looking good in paradise with the King and Queen of Cups. Who is this person? Come back to this video like in four months because I've been telling all the signs like love is going to be in the air around April. Um, Venus is going to be stuck in between a hard place and a rock. After the Venus retrograde, she's going between mars and saturn and it's not a very good thing for her she feels kind of trapped so like you know and i think that's a good warm-up with this retrograde to not force situations uh, whatever's flowing though i feel like you should move forward so i hate telling people don't start a relationship during venus retrograde we're freaking human they're gonna do it regardless that's not my job to tell you what to do when to do it um and sometimes i feel like venus retrograde might bring together soulmates anyway so if you met somebody here that's on your level, um, congratulations. Because um, it's not that you have to force anything. It's that this is actually looking healthy and they're giving you the same feeling, the same vibes. So very good read, Libra. And whoever this is, nice. Okay, and that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye, Libra.